information security class here, and we're going to do a little uh, a little review over encryption here. So what I've got first up here is uh, we're going to talk about the general purpose of encryption, basically, and we're going to take it at its most uh, fundamental form. We're going to say we have uh, two users here that communicate frequently with each other, very sensitive information. <clears throat> but we also have a spy that's also a part of that same network who can also pull information from the web server. So we have our setup, user 1, user 2, I'm going to communicate back and forth here. I'm going to go to my next picture here. And so here, user 1 uploads account approvals, uh, maximum amount approved for, along with account numbers to what he believes is a secure web server. However, it's not because we have Timmy the Spy who can also download that information. So he inputs information, uploads to the web server, which is later going to be sent out or downloaded by user 2 and Timmy the Spy. It's going to be uploaded in plain text uh, because that's how user 2 is going to read it. So moving on to the next slide here. All right, notice here now that after user 2 and the spy have downloaded the information plain text, uh, they can now view it on their computers. Account approved for 1600, account number 555, blah, blah, blah. <clears throat> All right, so it did make it to the intended recipient in plain text, account approved for 1600. He can now do what he needs to do with that information. However, the problem lies here is that Timmy the spy can also pull down that same information and read it in plain text with no effort. <clears throat> so, what are they going to do about that? Next slide. User 1 and User 2 determine that they're going to use a secret code to communicate. Now whether or not they believe that they actually have a spy in their network when they're passing sen sensitive information, this is always a good idea. So user 1 and user 2 collaborate amongst themselves and decide that they're going to use a secret code to communicate. So, let's look at our next slide here. Slide 15. Okay, and again, this is very basic, very general as far as encryption goes. Today's encryption uses very complex algorithms to determine uh, keys. However, to keep it simple, user 1 and user 2 are going to say, what if we replace all the letters in their text communications uh, with numbers. Basically, A is 1, B is 2, Z is 26. Nothing too complicated, uh, but again, just for explanation purposes. So, user 1, user 2 have this great idea, and they decide that they're going to replace letters with numbers in their communications. So, they're both aware and both now have knowledge of the key to, encry to encrypt and decrypt information. All right, slide six, next slide. <clears throat> All right, same scenario. User one is now going to upload information to the web server for user two. Again, the message is account approved for 2200. Account number is 555, blah, blah, blah. Except now, before he sends it, he's going to encrypt it based on the system that he and user two worked out. So he's going to encrypt it. Uh, using that system and replace all the letters in the original message with numbers. So I didn't actually go and do it, but I put in a bunch of numbers here to represent the original message. So here's the original message, account approved, it's encrypted, and now we have a bunch of garbled numbers. Alright, he uploads that to the web server. Next slide. <clears throat> Alright, so again, <coughs> user 2 is going to download the new message, and Timmy the Spy is also going to download the new message. Only now, Timmy the Spy gets the garbled numbers. He has no idea what this means as he is not privileged to the key, which is going to be used to decrypt the message. Alright, whereas Timmy the Spy is out in the cold, user 2 knows exactly what to do because they worked out a key seek, uh, key seek system between himself and user 1. So he knows how to make sense of all these garbled numbers and translate back to the original message account approved for 2200 account number blah blah blah. And this is the basic of encryption. Again, 
This is a real simple setup to where we're just replacing letters with numbers to give you a demonstration of the purpose of encryption and why it's important. Uh, in the class, we talked about MD5, MD5, and this is what we did our exercise on. Uh, MD5, again, much more complex, and you see from the keys that are generated from those algorithms uh, that it's a lot tougher to crack. So again, we're just showing you here the importance and the effectiveness of encryption. Thanks for watching.